Hello, my name is Amanda. With our short-term grant, I'm back with the final installment of our Spotted Lanternfly Tree Trap videos, Trap Maintenance. I'll be showing you a few tips and tricks to change out the traps as they fill up, and as the season changes and the lanternflies begin to die. I'll be showing you how to change out both the sticky tape with mesh and both kinds of circle traps, the jar and the bag. First, I wanna show you how to change out the sticky tape with mesh, a popular favorite. First, all you wanna do is just lift up the mesh, and I like to use a push pin or two just so you keep the mesh up. Be warned, this mesh is pretty disgusting, especially on trees that are heavily infested. Then you'll just want to take out any previous push pins you have and your tape. Make sure that you properly dispose of your tape in the trash can. When retaping, remember to follow those same best management practices that we followed before. Cut the tape in halves or thirds so that you're reducing the surface area that wildlife is getting stuck. So once you have that measured out, then you'll just want to wrap it securely to the tree. And I do it about a few inches below where the top of that mesh is. You want to give it a little bit of room. Then I add a couple push pins about at the center. It helps create that barrier between the tape and the mesh, keeping the mesh from getting stuck onto the tape. Then you're ready to just take out any of these push pins and roll the mesh right back down. I want to remind everyone that this mesh is reusable for next year. Once you're done and all the lantern flies have died off for the season, give it a hose it down, hang it to dry, and then just label which tree that it went on. It'll save you some time in measuring. If it's too gross to even use next year, at least just measure it out so you have that measurement saved. Next, I'll show you how to change out the light duty or bag circle trap. This one's pretty easy. First, you just want to tap all the lantern flies to the bottom of the bag. Then you want to press on this lever on the cable tie and that'll help release it. Then I like to use a mixture of soapy water to help clean out the bag and also help kill the lantern flies. Once you've properly disposed of that soapy mixture in the bag, you can put it right back on. So you want to put the bag right over that trap top cylinder and then re-secure the cable tie. Like with the mesh and the sticky tape, this trap is absolutely reusable for next other seasons, so make sure that you set it aside. Finally, I'll be showing you how to change out the medium duty or jar circle trap. First, you want to untie the twine that's at the top of this tree. And you let the jar hang to the bottom, and then you want to tap all the lantern flies to the bottom so none hop out. Then, when you unscrew the drawer, you want to immediately put your hand on top so no lantern flies can get out. I have a soapy water mixture that I use to clean out the jar. Once you've properly disposed of all that soapy water mixture, you can just screw it right back on. And then re-secure the twine pretty tightly around the tree. And if you have Velcro here already, you can re-secure that Velcro. Like with both of the other traps, this trap is reusable for next season, so be sure to take it down and reuse it. 
I hope this will help everyone to maintain your traps for multiple seasons. Remember to port any sightings of nymphs, adults, or egg masses to Penn State Extension, and to call your local extension office for any tips or advice that you need in managing spotted lanternfly. Most of all, make sure that you're checking your vehicle before you leave and keep on squishing. Thanks.